Hello, we are the SpaceX fans and welcome to the SpaceX show, the place where you can stay up to date with everything SpaceX. Today's episode we have a lot of dragons. Cargo Dragon, Crew Dragon, Dragon XL, then Astronaut News and finally we'll finish up the episode with SpaceX launches for the month of April so let's head straight in. We'll begin with the final Cargo Dragon capsule that will ever fly. Here you can see that the vehicle is still currently attached to the International Space Station. It was launched on March 7th, 2020 by Falcon 9 booster B1059.2, which was the second mission for this booster and the third mission for this Dragon capsule C112.3. This Dragon capsule is scheduled to be unberthed from the International Space Station for the third and final time and return to Earth soon. When it returns, it will bring back with it the results of some experiments conducted on the ISS and extra hardware and apparently there will be some rodent research habitats returning with the load. Next, let's take a look at Crew Dragon. According to NASA, the recent destruction of the Crew Dragon test article will not cause delays to the schedule for the Demo-2 mission. This statement from NASA about the test article, which was actually apparently a spacecraft-like device, confirmed that they are reviewing how they can try and stick to the current May timeline for the Demo-2 mission. NASA recently selected SpaceX for a contract to supply logistics services to their Artemis Lunar Gateway program in the mid-2020s. For those who don't know, the Artemis program is NASA's next big effort in returning humans to the moon, but the plan this time is to stay there. The idea is to have people back on the moon's surface by around 2024 using the Orion capsule which is SLS's crew capsule. As part of this program they plan to build a lunar gateway which would be a space station in lunar orbit providing astronauts with a place to stay around the moon. So what will SpaceX do to facilitate its trips to and from the gateway? They're going to build a new capsule which will be a variant of the Dragon family of spacecraft called Dragon XL. This new vehicle will be taller than a standard Dragon capsule as you can see here. The Dragon XL would deliver cargo, experiments and other supplies to the Lunar Gateway. In this NASA article it says that they plan to send multiple supply missions to the Gateway from multiple commercial partners in which the vehicles would stay at the station for 6 to 12 months. The contracts would be for an indefinite amount of missions and cargo, but apparently the maximum amount of money that will be awarded across all the contracts is $7 billion. The Dragon XL vehicle would be a Dragon variant that would be optimised to carry more than 5 metric tonnes into a lunar orbit. Due to the launch capability of Falcon 9 boosters, this would have to be done using Falcon Heavy. Here's a great rendering demonstrating how that could look. One thing I want to say is personally, I think this might happen more towards the second half of the 2020s instead of 2024. By this point, assuming all goes well, I think Starship could be about ready to take over from the Falcon and Dragon family. Could Starship make Dragon XL obsolete by the time it's ready? We'll have to wait and see, but let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Now let's take a look at what's happening on the astronaut side in preparation for the upcoming crewed mission to the ISS. According to this NASA article, over the last several months, flight control teams from both NASA and SpaceX have been simulating different phases of the Demo-2 mission. Along with this, astronauts Bob Benken and Doug Hurley have also been practicing the procedures in SpaceX's realistic Crew Dragon simulator. However, recently the teams and astronauts have been practicing a series of full missions from launch to landing of Crew Dragon, so everything seems to be going ahead well. Also, here is a tweet from Bob Benken saying, Interesting times as we continue preparations for the Demo 2 flight test, balancing risk of infection with training, vehicle processing and readiness assessments. In 2018, NASA announced that Victor Glover and Michael Hopkins would be the astronauts that will fly to the ISS aboard Crew Dragon for SpaceX's first operational mission. Apparently, Hopkins has spent a total of 166 days aboard the ISS, but for Glover, this will be his first ever mission to space and the ISS. Exciting times for him. On top of this, NASA recently announced two additional astronauts that will fly on the same mission. First, there is Soichi Noguchi, who is an astronaut for Japan's space agency JAXA and will be the first foreigner to fly on Crew Dragon. Then, NASA also added astronaut Shannon Walker to what I believe will be the final roster for this first operational mission, which is targeted for later this year. Also, I believe that this mission will be the first time since the retirement of the Space Shuttle that more than three astronauts have flown to the ISS together, so these are incredibly exciting times. Finally, let's finish up this episode by taking a look at the expected SpaceX launches for April 2020, which could be few and far between. At present, there is only one date confirmed for potential launches this month, and that is for the launch of the Space Force's GPS 3 satellite. The launch is currently scheduled for April 29th at approximately 11 am UTC or 7 am EDT, and will see the third GPS 3 satellite launched into a medium Earth orbit. 
Then we have two other missions which could launch this month, but no dates have been confirmed, so we could also see them not launch this month. These two launches are Starlink 6 and Seacom 1B, but with the recent news, I can't see Seacom 1B launching this month. I'm a bit skeptical given the current situation in the world as to whether or not any of these missions will launch this month, but we'll just have to wait and see. I just want to say a massive thanks to each and every one of you who has supported this channel so far. I'm amazed by the support and this is just the start of our incredible journey together. That's it for this episode of the SpaceX Show. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. If you want to stay updated with SpaceX info, make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified when I upload. Thanks for watching and have a great day.